Hi everyone, welcome to my bathroom. Excuse the sound of the extractor fan, but I was gonna make this video really fancy. I attempted to do a stop motion, and then I went through and filmed a close up of every single product, and I thought, this is getting a bit ridiculous, and if I watched a video like this, I think I would just wanna watch someone kind of going through their bathroom cupboard. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be very quick and casual, but I'm basically gonna show you inside my bathroom cupboard so you guys can be a bit nosy. Please remember that obviously, my job is to be a beauty blogger and YouTuber and I try a lot of products. So I kind of have like four or five of every type of product um, because I'm always trying things out. So this is a lot of products. You definitely don't need this much. I think a good skincare routine is like five or six products. But for those of you who are interested in what's in my cupboard, let's go have a look. So when we moved in, there was just a mirror here. There's hardly any storage in this bathroom at all, apart from a tiny little cubby hole under the bath, which is where we keep our toilet roll. There's literally like no shelves or anything, no area around the sink. So obviously I came in and thought, oh my God, I need to make some space for storage. So what we did is we ended up buying this mirrored cabinet from Ikea. I love it, I'm so happy with it. As as you can see at the bottom it's slightly higher up and it's got some of the original mirror sticking out the bottom that's because we had to drill into the tiles which was really hard big palaver but basically we've got the cupboard up and it's huge and I love that it's mirrored because it makes the bathroom feel bigger mirrors always make a space feel bigger especially because there's another mirror here on this wall the front doors are mirrored and the whole of the inside is mirrored as well so it does I think it makes it look like I have way more products than I actually have whenever I show someone they're like oh my god but it just does make the space feel so much bigger. So it's got two big doors that open like this. And most of my stuff is in one side, but I'll show you everything that's in here. Just below the cabinet, I've got a room spray from the White Company, which is in the scent Wild Mint and Peppermint and White Tea. I love this scent. I've also got the scented oil with the sticks in. And then I've got another room spray from Diptyque, which is the scent Bay, which I love as well. And these little hand soaps that my mum brought back from the south of France for me. I've put these plants here for now, but as you guys, I'm sure you've seen, they're actually from my lounge. We need to get a plant for the bathroom. I think a plant will work better than flowers because there's like no natural light in here. So I just need to find a nice plant to fit in the bathroom. So I haven't really organised it properly yet, I probably should have filmed this video later down the line when I've really organised it, but I can always do the video again. I haven't really got any kind of compartments, I've just put all the products in and I just thought I'd show you what I've got really. Oh, this light is not flattering. Okay, so down here I have cleansers and morning moisturisers. So I have the Super Facialist Micellar Cleansing Water that I use in the evenings when I'm feeling lazy and in the morning. And then I have the Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover. This is the best eye makeup remover, especially if you're wearing waterproof makeup. I've got a few cleansers. The Emma Hardy Cleansing Balm. This is an amazing balm that kind of turns into an oil, takes off all your makeup really well. And the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish, which I always have one of these. They're such a classic. Great for when you're wearing lots of makeup. Great if, you're feeling, if your skin's feeling a bit sore and sensitive because it's really good for sensitive skin. And then of course my Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I can't be without this one. It's a gel cleanser that turns into an oil. This is the one I use every single day. And then a newer one, which is the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. I'm still kind of testing this out and deciding what I think, but it's really nice when my skin's feeling a bit spotty if I want something a bit more clarifying because it has got the, the mud in it. Then I've got some morning serums. The Sarah Chapman Intense Hydrating Booster. This is my favorite serum for just whacking on a bit of hydration in the morning. And then I've got the Kate Somerville Quench Oil Free Serum. This is very similar, slightly more creamy feeling. And this is, an, again, another one I'm kind of testing out. I also have the Oskia Get Up and Glow, which is a really glowy morning serum. I really like to use this one. It definitely, you can notice the difference on your skin instantly. And the Sarah Chapman Morning Facial, which is an oil. And I only tend to use this really in the winter when my skin is very dry, dry, because it's quite a thick oil. I also have the Boots Botanics Radiance Balm All Bright, which you saw in my Boots haul. I'm still loving this. I read on the back that it has some natural AHAs in it, so it's slightly exfoliating, which is why probably I really like it. And the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizer, which is one I got from Sephora in America. This is a really nice kind of light moisturizer. And then I also have the Olay 2-in-1 Instant Hydration and Radiant Glow. This is one I tend to use when I'm about to do my makeup because it's very light, it won't kind of feel too heavy under your makeup. On the second shelf is where I keep my exfoliators and nighttime moisturizers, oils and serums. I don't tend to exfoliate with like a physical exfoliator, I tend to use chemical exfoliant more. So I have quite a lot of radiance pads. I've got the Pixie Glow Peel Pads. So these are like little cotton pads that are pre-soaked with 20% glycolic and rose water, it says, and there's 60 pads in here. I really like these. They're very similar to the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty. 
I can't really tell much difference really. I like both of these though, it's such a quick, easy way to exfoliate. And then I also have the Pixie Glow Tonic as well, which is a classic that I always enjoy. I haven't really used this that much recently, but it's always good to have it in the cupboard. These two again are quite similar. Sarah Chapman Overnight Exfoliating Booster. So this is an exfoliating serum, which I really couldn't get my head around at first, the idea of putting a serum on that exfoliates, but leaving it on your skin and not washing it off. Seems really bizarre, but it works, and you wake up with glowy skin that just feels really softer. It really changes the texture of your skin. And the Pixi Overnight Glow Serum is very similar. I'm testing this out, and they seem to be very similar. The only kind of physical exfoliator I have is the one from Kate Somerville. This is Exfolicate, which is very similar to kind of fruit enzyme masks that I've tried in the past. It's a bit heavier, a bit more abrasive, so I wouldn't use this more than once a week, but I'm still deciding if it's for me or not. I do quite like it. And I also have the Ren Wake Wonderful Nighttime Facial, which I really like. It smells a bit funky, smells a bit like Solero ice creams, but again, it's really nice and exfoliating. Nice to put on as your last step in your skincare routine in the evening. You wake up and your skin just feels amazing. The last exfoliating product I have is from Chanel. It's the Le Weekend Chanel. I don't use this one as much. I'm still kind of deciding if it's for me, but it's Chanel, so I can't get rid of it. Okay, so those are all the products that kind of take away the dead skin. These are all the products that put all the goodness back in. The Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, this is like my third or fourth bottle. Love this stuff, especially when my skin is just not feeling right, it's not feeling like my skin. I always use this and it goes back to normal. This is from Skin Owl, it's the Beauty Drops PM Mangosteen. These are new, I'm still trying them out and I absolutely love them. I did a review on my blog, it smells amazing instant hydration you just need like a couple of drops and i just love those sort of oils and serums that when you put them on your skin you instantly feel hydrated i have a few kind of hydrating mists the la roche posay Cera Zinc. i don't use this one as much as i used to but i always like to have one in the cupboard it's really nice spray to spray onto your skin after you've exfoliated or cleansed and i also have the tata harper hydrating flora essence this is a really nice one and this is the the trial size Ooh. Looks a bit funny inside, it's gonna be gross. Maybe it's time to get rid of that. I also have the Queen of Hungry Mist from Omarovitska, always so hard to say. This one's really, really pricey for a skin mist, but some people like to spend loads of money on their skincare, some people like to spend lots, some people like to spend a little. So if this is in your budget, then it's a really nice product, but I do completely agree that it's crazy price. I was very lucky to get sent this one. I've had the sample size for ages and it is lovely. And then I have my Pixi Beauty Sleep Cream, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. This is my nighttime moisturizer that I use every night. It's like silk on your skin. It's got this lovely glow to it as well, and it just instantly makes your skin feel soft and hydrated. A couple more oils and serums up here. The Sarah Chapman Overnight Facial is still one of my favorite overnight oils. Just a really beautiful oil, not too heavy, not too light, perfect. And Sunday Riley, the Sunday Riley Lunar Sleeping Night Oil. This one I tend to use when I'm feeling a bit spotty, when it's that time of the month and my skin doesn't feel right. It's a blue oil, it's very strange, but it sinks into the skin well. I like the scent of it and it feels like a really nice luxury oil. And then last on the second shelf is the Oskia Bedtime Beauty Boost. I still haven't decided if I like this or not. It's a nighttime moisturizer. I think it's a little bit too heavy for me. It takes quite a while to work into the skin, which I find a little bit annoying, but I still use it occasionally. Okay, now onto the third shelf, which is masks and eye creams. Oh, I randomly have my Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanning product up there as well. I like to use this on my face occasionally. Okay, the two hydrating masks I have are the Pixi Nourishing Sleep Mask. This is, again, new. I've been trying loads of Pixi products recently. This one I really like. The packaging is just so cheap and small, it's annoying, but the product's really good inside. My Origins Drink Up Intensive, I've used this for literally about five or six years now. I love the scent of it. This is my like guilty pleasure. Oh, it's amazing. I have four clay type masks going at the moment. The one that I always repurchase, always have to have in my cupboard is the Aesop Parsley Seed Mask. This is the best one because it really draws out any like impurities in your skin and it's so easy to wash off. I find that so annoying with clay masks when it's hard to, and you have to like target your skin. This one's incredible. I also have the Charlotte Tilbury Goddess Skin Clay Mask for baby skin. I do like this. This is one I'd probably use if I had to take my day makeup off and then redo it for a night out because it's a bit heavy to use in the morning, a bit unnecessary, but it really kind of has a lot of hydration in it. You can really feel the hydration on your skin. It's a little bit heavy, which is nice. I always feel like if, as soon as you've taken your makeup off, your skin feels a bit raw and dry. So if you need to put it on again, it's a bit of a nightmare. I also have the Liz Earl Deep Cleansing Mask, which I've always really liked. Green clay, it says it's got Manuka honey and it's rose scented and geranium. 
I really like this. It's just a really good clay mask. Um, and actually, it's a little bit similar to the next one, which is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan. Not my fave. Out of the four, my least favourite, because um, it does have that skin tugging problem. It's quite similar to Lizzo, although I do prefer the Lizzo one. Sitting just underneath those masks, I have a Glam Glow brush. I don't actually love Glam Glow, the product, as much, but the brush is great. I always like to apply clay masks with a brush because it doesn't get all gross in your fingers, and it's quite fun, it's like painting your face. I also have some exfoliating masks up there. Here's a little sample of the Tata Harper resurfacing mask and the Oscura Renaissance mask, which these are both very similar. They're like exfoliating, chemically masks, um, but nice actually, you kind of put them on, leave them five minutes, take them off. Very similar to an exfoliating serum, really. This doesn't really have a home, but it seems to be sitting up on that shelf. It's the Pixie Nourishing Lip Polish. This is like a kind of sugar lip polish that I'm trying at the moment. And then I've got four eye creams, which is ridiculous for someone that always forgets to apply eye cream, but I've got the Sunday Riley Start Over. This is a gel cream. Then I've got the Oscia Eye Wonder, which is very much a kind of cooling gel. Then I've got the Origins No Puffery, which is a roll-on gel for when you have puffy eyes in the morning. And then I've got the Boots Botanics, which is more of a cream. So they are all a little bit different, and really I just grab whatever I'm feeling at the time. So then the only other things on that side of the cupboard are some backups. I've got a lot of Sarah Chapman backups. I obviously went wild one day. Um, so those are in case I run out. And then on the top shelf, I've got some Margaret Dabbs products, which is for my feet, like a foot serum and a foot mousse and a, one of those horrible foot shavery things. Okay, so in the other cupboard, um, there's not really that much stuff. I've got my epilator that sits down here and I've got a few of these kind of travel roll-on things. This is from a brand called Tisserand and I think a viewer bought this for me when I was on a trip once, so thank you if that was you. There's one for sweet dreams, one for travel, and one for energy. And then I've got a few products that I'm just trying out to remind me to kind of give them a go. One from L'Occitane, one from Sunday Riley, a new cleanser, and a L'Oreal um, face oil. I've got cotton buds and cotton pads. And then the rest of the stuff is all rich. He's got two shelves of skincare. He is a skincare hoarder. He's nearly getting as bad as me. He has like five moisturizers. And whenever I ask him, do you really need all of these moisturizers? Apparently he likes to have them as backups, so to learn from the best. Then on the shelf up here, I've got a lot of kind of travel minis. I had so many and I went through them when we were moving and I got rid of loads. So I just like to have a shelf so that if I'm going away, I often have like last minute trips. I can just grab a shampoo, conditioner, cleanser, and moisturizer, everything I really need in mini size. So I know that was really quick and probably seemed ridiculous with all those products, but it's the best I could do at this time. Um, I promise I will do another kind of fancy video soon with lots of funky editing and stuff, but I thought you guys might just want to have a peek inside my bathroom cupboard because I like to watch these kind of videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you're having a lovely Sunday. I'll see you on Tuesday for another weekly vlog.